Hello there, friends and enemies. Today's review is a pretty short one. That is of the Five Piece 2017 debut by Monotonous Cities called Monotonous City. Monotonous Cities is a one-man band by Hector Sanatea from Mexico City, Mexico. On Bandcamp, this band is described as post-punk and cold wave with an additional tag, at least on this album, for shoegazing. The Facebook description additionally calls this band dark and inspired by the 80s. We start off with Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg is an instrumental piece. As you may have noticed in my introduction, I said this was a five piece album rather than a five song album, given that the intro piece is purely instrumental. Even without words, this piece is still quite expressive. The percussion keeps a steady beat with a particularly post-punk sound, while the melody is highlighted by a reverb-heavy guitar. It's a great setup. The following track is, well, Monotonous City, the title track on the album and sort of the artist title track as well. This song has lyrics in a very drony, fittingly monotonous voice, talking about being lost and dying in the monotonous city. Oh, and despite being a Mexican band, this song, as well as the other songs on this album, and in fact, every song this act has ever put out so far that I've heard, is in English. The bass line is a bit more punctuated and beyond just some background percussion emphasized with very goth-leaning post-punk bass in this kind of way, and the guitar has more movements, but it is still quite reverby. Next, we have Sad Lovers. This song has a longer instrumental opening than the previous. The droney post-punk has an almost new wave feel, though definitely a sad new wave song. The instrumentation remains in minor, with the guitar being the main focus. The reverb has even made its way into the vocals, though not quite as much as your typical shoegaze act. The lyrics describe a couple that is still together, but they're feeling lonely and stuck in their memories. The titular, Sad Lovers. Following that is Ingsoch. The song has some more uh, upbeat instrumentation with almost Smiths-like feel in the guitar, breaching on uh, jangle levels, though the words are still quite dreary. The title is a reference to the totalitarian government in the George Orwell novel 1984, describing the lyrics on their own, outside of the context of the book, I guess. Uh, They're describing a situation involving, get this, a totalitarian government. In this case, said government is describing erasing the record of people and controlling people's thoughts, you know, thought crime. The final song is I Can't Live in a Living Room, a cover of a song by the same name by Belgian post-punk band Red Zebra. This is the most rocking song on the album. It's pretty similar to the original in some ways, which I highly recommend you listen to if you haven't already heard it. The biggest differences are that the instrumentation has a level of dissonance added and the vocals are more monotonous rather than that pointed punk sound in the original, plus they have some delay or reverb added over them. The lyrics describe a very claustrophobic mindset while being constantly anxious as well. It might not be the most pleasant song. It's definitely relatable, especially right now as I am recording this. And at least in here in California and most of the rest of the U.S., we are still in quarantine. So I like this song. That was our album of the day. I think those of you who like old school indie goth and post-punk will especially like this one, especially if you're into the whole Moby Droney feel. It isn't quite as electronic driven as most of the music I've seen described as Cold Wave is. It's more general guitar, drums, bass, rock music that happens to have some effects added. Though it does lean mopey and droney, the music is also sort of dancey, so I think that's where they still count in the wave category. Though there was shoegaze tag, I would describe this as more just general goth band that utilizes some shoegaze techniques as opposed to a full-on shoegaze or even goth gaze band, but I think even some of you shoegazers out there will still appreciate it. Thank you to Hector Santea for giving me permission to feature his song. The song in question was Monotonous City. If you'd like to hear the rest of this EP or even the singles that the act has released since, 
I have links to the Monotonous Cities Bandcamp, Spotify, and YouTube accounts below, along with the Facebook page if you'd like to follow them there. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe and follow me on my social media pages linked below. Thanks for watching. Bye now.